Yo! What is up gamers? It's your boy Trimers here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Anyway today I'm going to show you the best OBS recording settings in 2021. This guide is for all PCs so it doesn't matter if you have a low-end PC or high-end PC. So let's get started. No, no. Before getting started, I just want to say that a very less amount of people who are watching this video are actually subscribed. So consider subscribing. And also I will leave timestamps, so you can easily skip through different parts of the video. So guys before getting started with OBS settings, I will show you some methods to improve OBS performance while you record gameplay or while streaming. First, type game mode in search, and open game mode settings. Here, make sure that game mode is turned on. The next method I am going to show you will not only improve performance, it will also fix black screen issues. So first, right click on OBS icon and click on properties, then go to compatibility tab, and below that you will see an option saying run program as administrator, enable that the option and press apply. Next. Go to the location where OBS is installed. It will usually be in disk C. After that, search for graphics settings and open the first option. Here, you need to choose OBS application from the location where OBS is installed. Then click on OBS and click on Options and choose High Performance and press Save. That's it for the performance optimization. Now let's get started with the best OBS settings. So first, open OBS and then click on Settings. In General Settings, these are your personal preferences. You can change themes, languages, and other related stuff here. Next, you need to click on the Output tab. This is the main part of the settings. Then click on Recording. Then change Output Mode from Simple to Advanced. In Recording Path, you can choose the place where the recording will be saved And in recording format, you can choose MP4 or MOV. I use MP4. You can use MOV for smaller file size. In audio track you can choose one or two. It depends upon how many audio tracks you use. Next, in encoder, you can choose NVIDIA or AMD. H.264 if you stream or you want to achieve more FPS in games, as these will use less CPU while you are streaming or recording. But I prefer X.264 because it's the best for recording. Next on Rate Control, choose CBR. That's the best for recording. After that, for the bitrate you can see different bitrates on the screen you can choose the bitrate according to your system specifications. As I have a high-end PC, rates from 8000 to 20000 are the best for me. On CPU usage preset, choose super fast. And in profile, choose high. In tune. Choose zero latency. After that, go to the link in the description and copy the first code. After copying the code, 
Paste the code on X264 options and add a space after the code. After that, go back to the link and copy the second code. Here you will see two codes. You can choose one of them according to your need. I prefer performance if you have a low-end PC. And paste the second code after the first code. Remember to add a space in between the codes. After that, go to the audio tab and set the sample rate to 44.1 kHz. And then, go to the video tab. Here set the base canvas to the maximum resolution available in the options. And then, in output, choose the resolution in which you want to record your video. You can choose 1080p or 720p. I use 1920 into 1080, as I want to record videos in 1080p. And in downscale output, choose Lexus. And in FPS, choose 60 FPS if you have an average PC. And if you have low end PC, I prefer use 30 FPS. And in advanced tab, set process priority as high. And set renderer as direct 3D11. And after the settings are applied, restart OBS and that's it. So guys that's it, the best OBS settings, and also guys a very small amount of people who are watching my videos are subscribed. So consider subscribing and like the video if this guide helped you. Thanks for watching and if you have any issues let me know in the comment section or join my discord server if you need more help. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.